Hello and welcome to this video. I am Karnesh Jauhri and this video is about IP command in Linux. The IP command is used to display and modify information regarding routing, network devices, interfaces and tunnels. The IP command is part of IP root 2 package which is recommended over the now obsolete net tools package. The utilities of IP root 2 package use the netlink interface to communicate with the kernel as compared to IOCTL calls used by the earlier net tools package. The IP command is mostly a replacement of earlier ifconfig root and ARP commands. And we start with a brief synopsis of the IP command. The format of IP command is IP options object command or help. The options are in square brackets which indicates they are optional and then we have object and command and since we are referring to IP command as the command, here command is actually a sub command for an object. For any object we can say IP object help which gives the help for the object. So what are the objects? The objects are link, address, ADDR label, root, rule, neighbor, end table, tunnel, turn tap, m address, m root, m rule, monitor, xfrm, net ns, l2tp, tcp matrix, token, and maxsec. In this video, we'll look at link, address, addr label, root, and neighbor objects. The first object is link which is a network device. The IP command for link object is IP link followed by the subcommand. The four major IP link commands are IP link show, IP link set, IP link add and IP link del. The IP link show command gives information about the devices. For example, IP link show gives information about three interfaces loopback ENP2 S0 and WLP3 S0 here. The devices can be grouped. If you look at the slash etc slash IP root 2 slash group file, there is already a default group. We can add a group named blue. We are having three devices. We can set two of them to the newly defined group blue. We can do that using the IP link set command which is for modifying the attributes of devices. So IP link set dev lo group blue and IP link set dev wlp 3s0 group blue. Now we can use the device group blue for example IP link show group blue and this gives information about the devices in the group blue. Some more examples for IP link command. We can say IP link set WLP3 S0 down to bring down the WLP3 S0 interface. And we can do the opposite of that and say IP link set WLP3 S0 up to bring WLP3 S0 interface up again. Another interesting use of IP link command is IP minus S link. This gives statistics for interfaces similar to what was given by the earlier ifconfig command. We can get similar result by printing the contents of slash proc slash net slash dev file cat slash proc slash net slash dev and we can delete an interface with IP link del dev docker 0 which deletes the docker 0 virtual bridge and IP link show confirms it is not there anymore. And finally IP link add dev dummy type bridge adds the interface named dummy. The next object is address which is the IP address on a device. So the IP command in this case is IP address followed by the command. There are four commands for the address object and these are IP 
address show, IP address add, IP address del, IP address flush. Now the IP command allows abbreviation, so you can write IP address show or IP ADDR show or just IP AS. All these work and give exactly the same output. The IP address show command displays IP addresses assigned to network interfaces. We can find IP addresses of all interfaces by giving the command IP address show. We can pass device ID as a parameter and IP address for that device are printed. And we can also get the addresses of interfaces in a group. For example, to find the IP addresses for the default group, we can give the command IP address show group default and we get the output. With IP address add, we can add an IP address to a network device. For example, sudo IP ADDR add 192.168.2.2 dev ENP2S0. This adds the IP address to the device ENP2S0 and we can add multiple IP addresses to an interface. For example, sudo IP ADDR add 192.168.2.3 dev ENP2S0 and this adds another IP address. We can of course add both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. For example, adding an IPv6 address sudo IP ADDR add IPv6 address dev ENP2S0 and this adds the IPv6 address. With IP address del command, we can delete an IP address from a device's configuration. If device ENP2S0 has these IP addresses associated and we wish to delete the first one, we can give the command sudo IP ADDR del 192.168.2.2 dev ENP2S0. There's a warning that we should specify the subnet mask, but the job is done and we can see IP ADDR show ENP2S0 and that address has been deleted. One more example we can try with subnet mask sudo IP ADDR del IPv6 address slash 128 dev ENP2S0 and the IPv6 address is deleted. The IP address flush command is used for deleting multiple IP addresses from a device's configuration. For example, device ENP2S0 has two IPv4 addresses and one IPv6 address. We can delete all these IP addresses with a command sudo IP ADDR flush ENP2S0 and we can see with IP ADDR show that the addresses have been deleted. The IP address flush command can be used selectively to delete multiple addresses. For example, if we wish to delete all the IPv4 addresses, we can give the command sudo IP-4 ADDR flush ENP2S0 and the IPv4 addresses associated with the device ENP2S0 are deleted. The next object is ADDR label which is for configuration of labels for protocol address selection. For communication, a host name needs to be converted to an IP address. The DNS conversion routines might return multiple IPv6 addresses. From these addresses, one address has to be selected. The kernel keeps a precedence table with IPv6 address prefix and a label as fields. The label is a number and a lower value of label indicates higher precedence. The address prefix and label are used to select the IPv6 address. There is an inbuilt default table which can be modified with IP ADDR label command. There are four commands IP ADDR label add 
to add a label record IP ADDR label del to delete a label record and IP ADDR label list to list all the table records and IP ADDR label flush would remove all the records from the table. We can try the command IP ADDR label list pipe to sort minus n minus k4 and we get list of all the table records sorted in the order of increasing label value that is decreasing precedence. We can delete a record IP ADDR label del prefix FEC0 colon colon slash 10 label 11 and we can list again it is not there anymore. We can add it back IP ADDR label add prefix FEC0 colon colon slash 10 label 11 and it is back. We can delete all the records with IP ADDR label flush and there are no more records. The next object is root and the command is IP options root command or help. The IP root command helps in management of routing table maintained in the kernel. And what is routing table? Internet is a packet switching network where data communication between hosts is broken down into smaller packets or datagrams and the packets travel from source host to destination host. As generally there is no direct link between source and destination host, packets progress between intermediate routers, bridges, hosts and other network devices before reaching the final destination right from the source host to all intermediate network devices or hosts there may be multiple routes where a packet can be sent so routing decision has to be made as to which route should a packet be sent to help in this decision making our routing table is maintained by the kernel and is used by the network routing software now some examples for the routing table with ip root list we can print the routing table so here it is the routing table for a laptop running Linux. The first line gives the default gateway which is the router connecting to the remote networks. If a packet destination IP address does not match any rule, it is sent to the default gateway. We can consider each line of the routing table as a record and the first blank space delimited word is the key for the record. This key is actually of the form IP address slash netmask. So it is a subnet and a routing table row effectively gives root for a subnet. The first line tells the default root is via 192.168.1.1 router. The next three routes do not have a via address. So these are for local network. The subnet 169.254.0.0 is for automatic private IP addressing if the host doesn't get a DHCP server response. So it randomly picks up an address from the subnet. The subnet 172.17.0.0 is for communication of Docker containers on the host. And the subnet 192.168.1.0/24 is the local network. And the list of IP root subcommands is IP root add, IP root del, IP root change, IP root append, IP root replace, IP root list, IP root save, IP root restore, IP root flush, and IP root get. And lastly, we look at the neighbor object. The IP neighbor command is about management of tables for hosts that are on the local network. These tables have mapping of IP address to the link layer address. The applications work with the IP address whereas the communication with local host is done using the link layer address. The IPv4 neighbor table is also known as the address resolution protocol or the ARP table and the commands are IP neighbor add, IP neighbor tell, IP neighbor change, IP neighbor replace, IP neighbor show, and IP neighbor flush. 
as an example we have ip neighbor show which gives the details about the router which the current local host is connected via the wifi network and we come to the end of this video you can find all this information at https colon double slash bit dot ly slash ip hyphen command this video comes from soft Priyog, a channel for software related videos please subscribe to soft Priyog so that we can make more similar videos thanks very much for watching take care and stay safe